Hi guys, I'm back uh, with another exciting Unity with Playmaker tutorial with me Rumi Fauzi. So in this series, I'm going to uh, try to create a shoot 'em up uh, game. Maybe if you have heard of Skyforce. Okay, uh, anyway, I'm going just to show you how does it look like. So here, as you can see. Uh, it has really nice uh, polish 3D graphics with particles and explosion stuff. I'll try my best uh, to create uh, something like this. So let's get started. By the way, I want to thank you all for subscribing. I finally hit uh, 1,000 subscriber, and it was uh, really great support for you guys. It really motivates me to create tutorials. On a side note. I'll try to make this tutorial as brief as possible, maybe maximum for 15 minutes, so let's start it. Okay, so this is our new projects and I have imported a couple asset. I have imported this astral sheep package. I'm going to use this for the enemies. I have also imported the sci-fi fighter free Starfire Fighter 3 uh, by Pitbull, by CG Pitbull and this is going to be the hero ship okay here under IK5 folder just go to the meshes and this is where the model resides you can just drag it to the hierarchy but before please make sure that the mesh is uh, around 0 0.02 for the scale vector so if is in this number please change it and then press apply okay first I'm going to add a rigid body component and then disable use gravity and then create box collider adjust the size so it's smaller than your ship otherwise it would be hard to play it if the box is bigger than your ship because it will get easily cl collided with the enemies so make make it, make it smaller so I'll just fine tuning the value here okay I think that looks great okay make sure its trigger is check okay and then save the scene we never know if something's going to happen so it's better to save often okay so now we are going to create a new FSM so right click uh, click add FSM and change the FSM name to movement and the first state is go also going to be named movement first I'm going to use get access vector get access vector is actually an action for getting access but it can get both horizontal and vertical and it can be mapped to the plane and change its multiply to 15 so store the vector to a new variable So store the variable into a new variable and this is a neat new features from the latest playmaker uh, creating variable right away from the parameter options and then let's add a set velocity action and then we are going to assign the vector that we have created to the vector of the set velocity uh, make sure it is set to every frame and the space to world so basically what we are doing here we are moving by 15 units uh, per second uh, by assigning the multiplier to the vector so the next thing we are going to make sure the position on the X Y and Z is 0 and then push it forward on the Y axis 
upwards to around 45 and then I rotate the Y axis to oh sorry not the the X axis to 90 degrees and I'm I'm going to change the field of view of the camera to 40 so we have a few something like this the size is quite uh, adequate for the screen and we can see that our ship is now moving next we are going to create a tilting effect the ship goes uh, sideways it will tilting according to the direction at realism in movement okay in order to the, do the rolling effect we are going to get uh, values from our vector uh, to a float so we are going to get only one axis from it and then we are going to store that vector to our, our x uh, float to create new variable in the x float and then uh, our rotations is going to be maximum number of 50 make sure every frame is checked at set rotation to drive our ship rotation and we are going to insert the x value that we have retrieved from the get vector 3 xyz to our z angle okay so let's set the z angle to uh, our uh, float variable that called roll float and then make sure the space is self check every frame and also check late update let's try it if it's working or not so we have a small problem somehow the ship rotates backward so we have to multiply our float uh, with a minus number okay next add float multiply I'm going to put minus 2 for multiply by check every frame let's see now as you can see the rolling is uh, working correctly and uh, it also tilting steeper than before now let's clamp our position so the ship cannot leave the screen if we try to leave the screen right now we can go off the screen if we go into the edge the border is around 29 units on the x-axis and of course the other direction is minus 29 and the bottom of the screen is around minus 16 or 15 please remember that number now add get position make sure game object set to use owner and then we are going to store our x value to a new variable let's call it x position and also the z position to our uh, new variable let's call it z position change its space to self and then make sure every frame is checked next we need to add float clamp we are going to clamp those uh, float values the x and the z position put it below get position make sure the float variable is x position and then the minimum value to minus 29 and the maximum to positive 29 don't forget to check every frame for the z position just duplicate the float clamp and then change the float variable to z position set the minimum value to minus 15 and the maximum value to 15 now add set position the action should be stacked on the bottom part of the state okay just set the x uh, parameters to x position and the z to z position uh, space self and check every frame also late update okay let's try this uh, okay as you can see now this uh, ship have some sort of virtual boundaries so it cannot leave the screen which is nice now let's create particle effects for the thruster create empty by right clicking on our sci-fi fighter ak5 object and place the empty around on the rear side of the ship
I'm going to rename this object thruster L for left and then add particle system component turn the Y axis rotation to 180 degrees change the shape to box set the boxes value all of them to 0 so I'm going to change the duration to 1 and make sure looping is checked also pre-warm is checked and then start last time to 1 speed around 2 I think 2 is better and then enable size over lifetime open the options and as you can see we have a curve below and this is the maximum value 1 multiplied by 1 and the smallest value is 0 so we can transition our particle sh scale to a smaller or bigger number and change its color to around a bluish tint and then also increase a bit the emission to 15 set the color over lifetime we are going to change the transparency value so the upper keys are the transparency and the uh, bottom keys are for the color uh, so you can set a gradient color into it select the last keys of transparency and I'm going to set it to a zero value you can also create new keys and then set the values and also starting from zero so we have a smoother appearing and also smoother disappearing once we've done with this just copy the game object we have created and rename the name to thruster R for right to duplicate just use control D to flip it to the other side just remove the minus sign on the x axis position save the scene and let's try the particle effect so another thing I'm going to disable the text uh, state that appearing in our game so go to playmaker GUI and then uncheck the enable GUI layout and also uncheck the draw active state labels under the debugging this will disable the state's uh, text appearing Okay, so this concludes our tutorial on creating basic movement for our ship. Uh, on the next lessons, I'm going to create a moving system of the world. So we are going to create also the background. I hope you find this tutorial useful and helps. And you can create your own cool game. So if you like what you're watching, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks a lot. Bye.